Okay, we're going to talk about triggering cameras to make them run and taking synchronization from cameras. Here we have our rig. It is sitting at the moment in its home position. Focus axis is at infinity. The machine, the rest of the machine is in its home position. I'm going to enable my robot. My focus is already enabled. I have actually pre-programmed a move which we're going to use as an example. Already, we have used a cable that plugs into the camera in a couple of places, and that cable enables us to feed a start and stop trigger to the camera and to take a synchronization pulse at the frame rate of the camera out. That cable runs up to node 1, which is an ulti box on the arm of this bolt, and goes into the camera accessories socket. By use of this cable, we are able to start and stop our camera and take synchronization in order to lock the movement of the machine to the camera. I'm going to open a file here. The job I'm going to open is called stand job. Opening this job. And there we are, we have stand job running with an Auri Ultra Prime lens. So we are using that lens. And our focus axis is zeroed at infinity. Go to position one of my move. There I am in position one of my move. My move, when run, is eight seconds long, 200 frames at 25 frames a second, and this is the move. I'm going to run that back. Now I'm going to my external camera setup. My external camera setup enables me to do two different things. It enables me to start and stop a camera, and it enables me to take synchronization from a camera. I've selected any camera here, and because I'm using a phantom in this case, I need a pulsed signal to start it and a second pulse to stop it. That's a characteristic of this camera. There are other alternatives I could use with different cameras. My pulse is 16 fiftieths of a second long. So I will generate a pulse and the camera will ramp up to speed and the camera I have put in here to it will run 10 ramp frames that allows me to time the camera being at speed. I'm also going to take synchronization from my camera. If I make sure that I am looking at my network board as my source of my synchronization, as I am on node one of this machine, then my network board sync node one should be providing a sync pulse at the 25 frames a second that the camera runs at. I can press the test socket here. And, lo and behold, I am receiving sync pulses 
at 25 frames a second. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn on Film and Video Sync. This means that when the camera runs, I will receive synchronization. I have a, a window here. I'm going to set five frames to synchronize my move. This allows me to take the synchronization pulse and feed it into flare and move the position in time of my move to lock to the camera. In order for these things to work, I have to save, apply my changes, and I have to be running in record. So my camera is recording rather than in dummy, and I have set up my external camera setups and synchronization setups to work with this move. If I now run my move, I should be able to shoot, roll the camera, synchronize to the camera, shoot the move, and stop the camera at the end. Here we go. I'm going to turn the camera to dummy in order to run back. So I didn't record that pass and I didn't try to synchronize. Again, I'm turning on record and running it forward. And this time, again, it should start the camera, lock synchronization, run the move, and then stop the camera. There we are. That's camera synchronization and triggering. Thank you. This has been a Mark Roberts motion control training video. Thank you for watching.